Hey guys, welcome to Rotor Riot, and I'm coming to you from my home office. I'm sure many of you are spending more time at home now than ever. This global pandemic has changed the world and things simply aren't normal. Now at Rotor Riot, we've been fortunate enough to continue our business operations and orders are still shipping out of the warehouse. To everyone that's been shopping with us during this time, thank you so much for the support. But what we have not been able to continue to do is make videos, at least the way that we like to make them, where we get together and go on adventures and take you along on the journey. But we wanted to get creative and find a way to, to bring us all together. So today we're gonna to be checking in with some of the Rotorot pilots and see what they've been up to during this time, how they've been continuing to enjoy doing the things that they love and make the most of this situation. Hey guys, well I hope everyone's quarantine life is going super well. Obviously, as you can hear in the background, I am still flying, I am still ripping it out here. Just because we're in quarantine doesn't mean that we can't fly. I'm very blessed I can fly straight outside my house. I'm gonna take you guys through a little bit of a day flying, doing some training with the DRL Racer 4 because we still have a DRL season happening this fall. But we're gonna get some batteries off the charger here. We're gonna go out and we're gonna do a little bit of flying. <laughs> practice racer four got all my batteries in there i got my futaba transmitter and my fat shark goggles some hand sanitizer just in case i come across anyone out here and of course i got my water bottle because hydrate or dihydrate when you're trying to fly over 100 batteries a day you need to be super efficient about everything not just your flying but you also need to be efficient with your battery charging so here's my charging setup right here. I got a Spectrum power supply. I got two ISDT chargers and I have another one inside there. I'm gonna bring it out here. Um, I'm charging at seven amps, which when you're charging a 2300 milliamp battery, that's only three C. And in my opinion, if you're gonna be pulling a hundred amps out of these quads, putting seven amps into a battery, I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate on that, but that's what I charge at. And that's how I'm able to fly as many batteries as I do per day. Everybody wants to deliver me a pizza with new no contact delivery. I don't want no contact delivery. I don't want any delivery. I'm making my own pizza. The water that we're gonna be working with is ice cold. This pizza dough is gonna benefit from a long, slow proofing in the refrigerator overnight. Joshua, you're putting the scraps back in. My hands are clean. I'm making the food. Now those are going to sort of settle and expand in the fridge. Here are our dough balls from the fridge. I'm going to take one of them out and put the other one back in the fridge. Even it'll kind of want to get thin in the center so you can kind of come to the edge here and stretch the edge 
and feel for any thick spots and kind of try to stretch them out. timer and we're gonna have a little pokey knife because bubbles are gonna form and they're gonna try to ruin our pizza and we're gonna poke those bubbles boom pandemic pizza look at that that's that's a good bottom look at that oh yeah mmm all right well now I got pizza let's go fly some FPV Sean here. I'm fortunate enough to be able to stay in business during this as an essential business. I am an automotive electrician technically, but as you can imagine, I'm probably not as busy as usual. So I've been working on a few projects for Rotor Riot, and I've got some other stuff that me and Drew have just kind of needed. For example, we go through a lot of GoPros between the two of us, and we're trying to come up with the perfect mount. Not as easy to get GoPros as it usually is. Best Buy isn't even allowing in the stores right now. So I started out with this design, and it kept the back from getting destroyed, and it helped a little bit with the lenses, but I was still busting lenses. So I kind of upgraded it, added a little bit more beef to the GoPro mount, not breaking as many lenses, but we'd still hit here, and I started making them a little more goofy and started adding more and more bumpers to it. This seems to be working pretty good so far. I haven't broken a GoPro since I made this mount. It looks goofy, but proof of concept, I'm trying to see if I can make it more durable and then I'll make it look cool afterwards. <laughs> time in my bug out RV. I've been mobile living now for a year. I've been living in the RV. I've traveled across the West Coast in this thing. It is one of my favorite things in the world. I've never actually shown people how this thing is set up. So we have my six foot workbench, tons of gear, tools, drones, my gaming computer. This is my Oculus Rift. I'm playing a lot of Half-Life Alex recently. People are probably wondering, how do you get internet? Uh, this is my MoFi 4500. It is connected on the Verizon network with unlimited LTE and limited data, no throttling. But that's not the only cool thing about this RV. Is that it is solar powered. On top of that, it has a bay of batteries that gives me remote power. And I have a generator, plus I can run the whole thing off of the engine of the RV. So I have three power sources. I never intended to be a doomsday prepper, but the doomsday prepper life chose me, apparently. Uh, yeah, let's go fly a pack before it gets too dark. 